Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here, I really appreciate it. So this is going to be a general uh, weekly reading for you all. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. We are going to go ahead and jump right on into this here for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and take that one because it had flipped, so um, I'll pull the rest of them here in just a second. If this is not resonating with you guys in the beginning, you are more than welcome to stick around or skip around. Um, I'm not reading in a straight line, so you might find a message that is meant for you, okay? Wow, you guys, some, some tough energy you guys are working through here for sure. Got the Five of Wands out here, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Definitely looks like a battlefield here, okay? Definitely looks like a battlefield here, but Seven of Wands is your overall. I feel like you will be victorious, okay? You guys have, um, you guys might have some uh, Capricorn in your chart. Capricorn had the Seven of Wands as their overall energy as well, but to them it was like they were pushing something down. They were burying something that needed to, that was coming back up for them, basically. We have the Five of Cups as your starting card, Mars and Scorpio. So let's look and see what's going on with it. Um, this feels there, feel there's this energy, you know, with the Five of Cups of picking up pieces, okay? So it's almost like you guys have really been through the ringer here recently, I feel. Um, let's go ahead and look at that Five of Cups. What's going on with it? The Two of Cups. This could have definitely been a connection that didn't really work out. A failed reunion with someone here or a failed union. Um, so something was supposed to come to fruition here and it did not. It's something that I'm getting here with the Two of Cups to the Five of Cups. So it's like you're picking up the pieces here. All right. Now you move on to the Seven of Cups energy, Venus and Scorpio. So let's get a card on that if we can here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're stuck at a crossroads here. There's this energy of indecision. Somebody could have Jupiter and Capricorn here with that Seven of Cups. I actually feel as new doors opening for you, okay? So I feel like that ending has taken place a while ago, possibly in the fall or five five months ago or five weeks ago, uh, but possibly in the fall, I feel, okay? Uh, either way, but I feel like you guys have been picking up the pieces here, and I think that, you know, you're moving, you're moving on, okay? You're moving on, and it's this bittersweet energy where I feel you guys in this very up and down space. You know, the water's rising and falling in the background there, the two of pentacles. It's like, am I sure? Yeah, you are sure, okay? That's how this feels to me. I feel like somebody needed the confirmation here that you, you are moving on and it's okay to move on, you know? Uh, with that seven of cups energy, like I said, I don't really feel like that's like confusion. I mean, I guess it is confusion in a way because like I said, you're uncertain of whether or not you should be moving forward and you definitely should be, okay? But I'm mostly feeling like these are options. These are doors opening up. Even if it's not just in love, I feel like there was some disappointment with something that you really thought was missing for you okay and now it's over you've been picking up the pieces for quite some time now and new doors are opening at this point in time so it's almost like it's just it's not necessarily that this is meant for you it's that you're just um it's this bittersweet energy of closing it out you know so there's something about that because i feel like you've been holding on to it for a long time but the star card i feel like healing is here i feel like healing is here what's going on with the star card here for aquarius please for the week I feel like it's acceptance. Yeah, I feel like it's acceptance, perseverance, realizing that you healed from something. You're like, yes, I healed from this. So yeah, it, it is time to move on. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Could be with a Leo, all right? It could have involved a Leo. Uh, but for the most part, I see that strength card as persistence and also just being gentle with yourself, okay? The star and the strength card, I feel both, is having patience with yourself. And I feel like you've had, um, you've given yourself a lot of time here to move on from something. And um, yeah, I feel like most of this confusion is truthfully just not, not really wanting to accept that it's over. But I feel like you've, for the most part, healed from this. And I think that you're actually persevering through it with that strength card. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles is the lever. So um, I don't necessarily feel like this is actually an energy that you're in. I feel like it's an energy that you're leaving behind. You know, with the lover's card, I feel like this is a turning point here. And I feel like for a lot of you, it is new love. I feel like a new person is coming in. Um, and they do want something with you. And it's like before you level up, it's like you have to really, it's like leveling up and solidifying a certain connection here that, um, you know, has not been, obviously has not been solidified. Sorry, you guys, lack of sleep. But um, yeah, you've not solidified a connection here. And it's like in solidifying that, it would be, um, solidifying an ending of another connection. So that's what that is there. That's what that is. So the seven of wands, yeah, it seems like it's time to let go of something once and for all, move on something new, something better. Uh, this new thing, you know, this could be a Gemini or a Taurus, could lead to marriage, but this is a higher level of commitment. Let's look at that. What's going on with the hair font, please? That Five of Pentacles, I truly feel like, was you guys feeling very neglected in the connection you were in or just feeling very misunderstood, just feeling like you really strayed far away from the um, 
the vision you had for the connection, the both of you anyways. So the hair font to the Five of Cups, I feel that this Five of Cups is honestly, um, you know, because the hair font can represent tradition. I feel like this is what you're leaving behind here is like what you, like the way that you've always known love to be or the way that you've always known a certain connection to be. Maybe you saw it as something that was going to go long term. You know, maybe somebody you were going to marry in the future or something of that nature here, have a family with, uh, have build your own traditions with this person. Uh, I feel like that Five of Cups energy is you kind of uh, releasing that, okay, letting that uh, image go, because the, the Seven of Cups might say that maybe you built this illusion here, okay, maybe you, maybe this person never felt that way, maybe you assumed that everything was the same, you know, with that Two of Cups energy, I feel like you did have a very strong connection, I don't think that was in your head, but I think the intentions um, were, in, were assumed, okay, so there's something about that there that uh, is going to have to be released here, Aquarius, so yeah, it's tough. It's a battlefield. I really, I really feel that. You have the five of wands. I feel like it's going to be worth it, though. Okay? That's the conflict you're working through here. Saturn and Leo. But like I said, I feel like most of the work has already been done. Where We're just dealing with past energy showing up here in the readings because of the retrograde. Yeah, see, you, you've already walked away from this heartbreak here. I just feel like there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of finalizing it. Goodness gracious. That's the word I've been looking for this whole time. I just keep saying solidify over and over again. <laughs> but it's it's finalizing the ending. It's like there's new love that's going to come in. And it's like, I feel really drawn to this person. But I felt really drawn to this other person in the past. What if this other person is who I should be with? What if this person is who I should go with? You know? Uh, so there's something about that here where I feel like it's um, your desires are kind of up against one another. Um, and yeah, I feel like it's causing a lot of... Um, internal conflict magician virgo and gemini energy so yeah like i said i feel like you're going to get what you want um out of the situation i feel like you want this new beginning really bad okay but there's part of you that just struggles with finalizing the ending of this past connection which um, i'm not sure what happened with this past connection i feel like some of you could have been juggled some of you could have been neglected some of you just drifted apart from this person others of you there was too much distance Okay, so uh, a lot of different reasons. We're not going to go into it because it's obviously different for all of you guys. But the Magician to the Five of Wands, I definitely feel like you're going to come out of this battle victorious. So um, especially with the Seven of Wands being your overall energy, you defeat all of this, okay? So we have that Three of Swords down here and the King of Pentacles clarifying it. A life partner? Yeah, some of you guys are going to be gaining a life partner here. Three of Swords is re relationship obstacles, Saturn and Libra. But, you know, the King of Pentacles, it can also be a card of tradition, okay? So I feel like you are, this this week you're going to be reflecting a lot on the way that you've always done things in relationships, okay? Uh, the things that you are comfortable with and saying, you know, is it a good thing that I'm comfortable with that? Or should I be ready to move on to something new? Should I be willing to move on to something new? Something stable, something long-term. King of Wands, uh, let's look. What's going on with that King of Wands energy there? What's going on with this King of Wands for Aquarius this week? Five of Wands, yeah. I feel like you're putting this conflict behind you here with this King of Wands energy. It is like King of Wands is a card of somebody who leads okay he's a leader uh he takes action on things so i feel like you guys are really taking action towards the new um but you're struggling with it you're having a really hard time with it let's get a couple more on that the star aquarian energy it could be an aquarius ace of pentacles but i feel like the, the main thing about this is um, finalizing something, okay? You, it, it means that something else is final. Beginning this means that something else, the ending of something else is final. So that's the big thing here that's um, bothersome, all right, for a lot of you guys. But the King of Wands says that you want it, it's what you desire. Mm. It's just, I mainly feel like your ego is what doesn't want to let go of that because it's like, I know that I was right. I know that I was right about that. I'm fine without it, but I know that I was right about it. And they're like, no, we're right about this one. We're right about this next one. So, uh, the Eight of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo for some of you. It could be a Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. Healing. Healing. When you move from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords, that is healing. Those swords are no longer probing you in the heart, but I do feel like it is going to take some time to um, figure out what your truth is in regards to this, okay? Um, 
But I feel like you're, you're getting there a lot faster than uh, you expected to get there. With the Strength card to the Star card, like I said, um, I feel like you've had a lot of patience with yourself. And I feel like you're putting in a lot of work on this. I really do. Ten of Cups to the Ace of Wands. This new beginning is going to make you very happy. And I feel like this person will have a lot of patience with you as well. I mean, everybody only has so much patience. But I do. I feel like this person will have a lot of patience with you as you work through that. Um, but I also feel like they're already here in a lot of ways, and you're just, you're, you're kind of asleep to that at this point in time, if I'm being honest, okay? Uh, but I do, I see you waking up to that. I do, I see you waking up to that here, and then there's just this, the only struggle left is, um, you know, validating, <laughs> validating and finalizing, um, validating your feelings and finalizing the ending of a past connection here that you were really certain was the end all be all. So I think mainly the struggle with that is, um, assuming that something else is the end all be all again and being wrong again okay there's a potential for that that's what's uh scaring you here okay so um yeah but i feel like it's very promising you know you have the star card the ace of pentacles the ten of cups ace of wands so it's a huge turnaround that happens down here so um that's a good thing so i do see you guys defeating that and there's that clarity that you're looking for there so um i like this a lot for you all i am going to have some links in the comment section for you if you want to check those out those are going to be some, uh, links to some other readings i've done for your sign here recently you could also watch out for your other signs but this is where we part i do want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week bye